my goodness. The bosque is very dangerous sometimes. So a while back, a tree died. It was hit by lightning. That happens every year to, I don't know, 10 to unknown number of trees. There's a big space with a lot of trees. So I left it there as a dead tree as bird habitat. In particular, it's the uh, woodpeckers. The woodpeckers have to have snags, dead trees, where they don't have any place to build their houses. They, they can't make them in living trees. And so I left it there, and that was all good. Very smart of me. I'm increasing wildlife habitat. But they also call snags widow makers because they can just fall over at any time and kill somebody. This tree's been here for years serving as woodpecker housing. And the other day, there was a big, huge noise as it fell over and hit the ground. Now, that's no big deal. You know, now the fungus will eat it. Maybe we'll use some for firewood. The problem is there's a little house over here. And of all the 360 degrees that this tree could have fallen in, it chose to fall exactly in the direction of this house. And it almost hit it. Luckily, the top had already fallen off, but it got like up, up to this doorway. There was a bunch of branches here and everything it was a big mess. So this is a good illustration that a dead tree, a snag, is extremely dangerous and that there are dangers here in the forest that we have to prepare for. Because this is not a good place to have a medical emergency. It's a very hard place to survive in the first place. And if you've got extra problems, those are problems you may not be able to solve. So anyway, in this case, nobody got hurt. And uh, we heard the big noise and cleared out the branches. You can get back in here. we got some new firewood. But it's just good to remember, security-wise, we got to be thinking ahead and see the future. You can learn to see the future. Let's do that. And luckily, this tree was just not quite long enough to squish the roof of this thing where somebody sleeps at night. <laughs>